Okay, so let's go. Um, the life stages of a female, as you can see depicted here in the graph, you can look at it a couple different ways. And the first has to do mainly with reproduction and, and raising babies, right? So obviously we've got the youth stages of infancy, childhood, and adolescence. And then we move into the reproductive stage, pregnancy and lactation, which of course is breastfeeding. And then finally, the last third of our lives were in what's called the post-reproductive stage, midlife, as well as late adulthood. So once again, from a female perspective, we can look at it from, from that stage in terms of raising babies. And then the second thing would be to look at it from the aspect of physical development and how the body changes in regards to bone mass, muscle, strength, functionality, fat mass, and of course, inflammation, which we're learning a lot more about nowadays. So you can see with the growth phase, what's going on here, osteogenesis refers to bone formation, myo is muscle, um, adipogenesis is fat formation. So you see that during growth, all of that is happening at a rapid rate. And, and the little key at the bottom, go mm -hmm. ahead. Oh, no, I'm going to say, well, you know what I love about this chart? I, I was looking at this earlier, everybody, when Kat sent everything over to me here. Um, it, it really, when you look at everything to the right of 30 years, that's all new in the last few hundred years of human existence. Yeah. That's all new. So we're still trying to figure it out. How do we live better longer? Because everyone died in their 20s, you know, and, and, and way before that. Yeah, most, of, most people died even before that for the first, you know, first couple million years as hominids here on the on earth so these are this is really a great chart that kind of explains things that we're still discovering go ahead sorry no that's okay and that's yeah. that's a really good point because you know the last third of our lives past 60 you can see it's the called the declining phase right where it's now you know muscle mass uh, and bone etc it's all you know it's sort of you know, sort of end of life, if you will. But there's lots of different ways that we're going to talk about to help stave off that and maintain functionality and high quality of life, like Neil's been talking about with play spans. 